Good morning. I'm going to read to you today from Matthew chapter 6, verse 27, and then verse 31 through 34. It says, Can all your worries add a single moment to your life? Don't worry about these things saying, What will we eat? What will we drink? What will we wear? These things dominate the thoughts of unbelievers, but your heavenly Father already knows all your needs. Seek the kingdom of God above all else and live righteously, and he will give you everything you need. So don't worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will bring its own worries. Today's trouble is enough for today. Worry, anxiety, fear, stress, panic. Maybe those terms aren't exactly interchangeable, but to me they seem to be directly related to each other. Um, there aren't many people that I know who struggle with these all the time, though some do. But there is also no one I know who never struggles with any of these. Each of us is going to face times of worry, fear, etc. So it's not so much of a question, a question of will I worry as it is a question of what will I do with my worry? That's really what Jesus is addressing here. When he says, don't worry over these things, Jesus is telling us not to hang on to the worries that rise to the surface. Um, when the doctor gives me the diagnosis that causes my fear and worry to spike, I need to release that to the Lord. When the boss tells me that the company is downsizing and my job may be cut, I need to release my fear and worry to the Lord. Jesus said, your heavenly Father already knows all your needs. Seek the kingdom of God above all else and live righteously. And he will give you everything you need. Worry, anxiety, fear, stress, panic. We can't necessarily control when those things sprout. But Jesus asks us, to hand them over when they do, to release them to him. Cast all your cares upon him, for he cares for you. Pray with me. Lord, in those moments where I feel my anxiety start to grow, where I feel my panic start to rise, where I feel my worry start to sprout, I ask that you would help me, Lord, to hand those things over to you. I do trust you. We do love you. We do believe that you are God and you are in control. And because we believe that, help us, Lord, to turn our worries over to you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Okay, friends. Hope you have a good day. We'll do it again.